Hi, second graders. It's Mrs. Compton again. Are you ready to play? We've got to start with get to. All right, let's get busy. Here we go. I'm going to jiggle my bag around. All right, here we are. No peace. Our starting number is 16. All right, so our starting number is 16. I'm going to write that there. And we are going to get to, please hold, got to find out what we're going to get to. Okay, shake it up. All right, here we go. No peeking. I need just one. Oh my goodness, I can't pull out the one. Okay, there we go. We're gonna get to 25. All right, here we are. What strategies would you use? I want you to hit pause right now, and I want you to figure out what the distance is from 16 to 25, and what's your strategy? Okay, hit pause. Okay, you hit pause. Okay, are you back? All right, let's see. If we start with 16 and we get to 25, I actually want to actually want to model that. So I have 16 and I have to get to 25, right? So I have a 10 and six ones and I actually need to get to I'm going to turn this into 20. There's 20 and then five more. 1 2 3 4 5 there we go, 25. Okay, so that's what I have in the end there. Now, how many did I have to add on? How many did I have to add on to get from 16 to 25? So obviously I added the green one, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I had to add nine to get to 25. So maybe we could show it like that. We had 16, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to make my 10 longer. And we had to get to 25. So maybe we did, ooh, got to change my color. Sometimes different colors help us. All right, so let's see. Maybe I could do six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Ooh, I should make my 10 longer in the other direction too. Okay, so now my... 10 ones match my one long 10. Okay, so we have 20 right here, and we're gonna add on five more. One, two, three, four, five. So the distance between 16 and 25 was nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So maybe you didn't do it that way. Let's find out. Maybe you used a 120 chart. So let's see, if you started with 16 and you got to 25, ooh, I have an idea. Maybe some of you realize that if you started at 16 and you hop down one row, you'd have 26. And then maybe you'd say, oh, but we really wanted 25. So some kids may have said 11. Hmm. But that would be if we hopped down one row and went over one more. But that way, this way, 16 plus 10, and then we took off one. So that means it would be nine. Let's look at that move on a number line. So let's say I had 16, right? I had 16. Ooh, where'd I go? Kids, I'm losing my mind sometimes. Okay, got it. Okay, 16 plus what would get us to 25? So maybe you said, oh, I can add a 10. But 16 plus 10 makes 26. And we really just wanted to get to 25 right here. So we have to take off that one. Whoop because we didn't need it. We didn't really need it. Okay, so really our answer is nine. Okay, whew, that's a lot of thinking involved in there. 
It's hard. Ooh, I hope it sounds a little hard and it feels a little hard because you know what, kids? When it's hard, that's when our brain is growing the most, right? We've kind of learned that with our, our brain development and our class dojo videos that we've probably watched along the way, that our brain has to feel challenged in order for it to grow, right? Okay, so I've got a story, and I hope this brings you a challenge today. Okay, I always love to say, um, who's ready for a challenge? And then I love when the class says, Bring it, bring it, bring it. So let's try it. Who's ready for a challenge? Bring it, bring it, bring it. Okay, I hope this one's hard. Here we go. This story is about starbursts. Okay, so Gemma has some starbursts. Colton gives her some more starbursts. Now Gemma has hmm, starburst candies. How many did Colton give to Gemma? Okay, so let's check that out with numbers. I feel like I have to unpack further. My brain is spinning. Hold on. Okay, I think I'm okay. All right, let's see. Here are our number choices. 13 and 20, 13 and 24, 13 and 28. Don't even think about choosing this one unless you could solve all three of these with like the best strategy. All right, 83 and 78. So let's say we choose 13 and 24. So I need to read it again and I need to picture the story in my mind, right? Okay, so Gemma has 13 Starbursts. Okay, do you see 13 Starbursts? Do you see them? I see them. It's right there. Okay, then Coulter gives her, Colton gives her some more Starbursts. Okay, nice job, Colton. All right. Now Gemma has 24 Starbursts. Look, you see them? There they are, 24 Starbursts. How many did Colton give to Gemma? All right, kids, get your tools, get your number lines, get your 120 charts, and go. See you next time. Bye.